hello and welcome back to my channel in today's video we are going to learn how we can use microsoft power app canvas app to convert sharepoint forms into the tabbed format or the tab forms but before we move to the video here is a short intro In this video, we are going to see how we can leverage the Power App to display the Microsoft SharePoint's form in different type of tabbed forms instead of the out of the box form. So to do that, what we have to do is we have to customize the Microsoft SharePoint form right now. And that can be applied to SharePoint list as well as the Microsoft list as well. So currently I am in my Microsoft list called as flooring estimates. And as if I click on this new button, as you can see, it is having this by default functionality of add form, new form, you can say. So what we are going to do is we are going to go into the integrate and power app and click on this customize forms. Customize this out of the box experience of forms and convert that to a tab form experience. Okay, so let's wait for Power App to load our app. It will take some time. So by giving this tab formula or tab form experience, we can provide user with details like whatever he wants to see in different forms. So what we are going to do is we are going to convert this vertical form with vertical horizontal scroll into three different tabs. One is called as information where we are having to going to have this name, category and price as the information. We are going to have another tab uh, which is having these image details like image and overview and quantity. And third one we are going to have is the attachment field. To do that, what we are going to do is first of all, we need let me just go and make some space on the in the top and what we are going to do is we are going to add one horizontal gallery but that will be a blank horizontal gallery this one and we are going to fix it over here and in this we are going to add a control button like this and this three this button will work as our tabs to do that what we are going to do is as you can see this this particular horizontal blank gallery is having the custom gallery sample as is item data source and it is type of data type as table so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to replace it on with some custom table okay let me add one record in that i uh, and i am going to provide id as one and label as info info okay let me copy this whole object paste it here change the id to two value to image info and let me copy it one more time and close the braces and call it as attachments make the id to three okay so as you can see these there are three buttons available if i just go and try to make the size a little bit proper like this and minimize this as you can see there are three buttons available now and the name of this particular button is going to be let me just go and change the uh, value for this so the name of the button will be uh, the name which i am giving it from that property so if i go to the text property the default value is button i'm going to replace it with this item dot label so i have three values now okay and what i can do is i can just go and change the width of the button so that it fits in and to give it a proper look as the tabs 
this buttons has one more property called as radius there are different type of radius in are available i'm going to use this radius top left and provide it the value of 20 and it will also have a value called as radius top right i'm going to provide a value as 20 for this as well so as you can see how this has changed the radius of the buttons of the top two corners like top left and top right so now it looks something like a button a tabs actually and also let me adjust the uh, template padding of this uh, item gallery control horizontal one to zero so that the buttons come near okay let me adjust the width and height of this and also let me adjust the uh this form to match the height in here as well okay so if i run this form right now you can see this type of behavior nothing is happening right now as we haven't added, added anything in here but the next thing what i wanted to do is when i click on this info card or this info tab i want to display this name category and price fields for this and other fields should not be vis visible to the user okay so to do that what i will do is when this button is clicked so on select of this button i'm going to create one global variable called as variable selected tab and set its value to this item dot id okay so when the value has been set this variable will be set and what i wanted to do is i want to show only this name category and prices for this particular uh, info tab so to do that what i can select i can select this card so it will select this particular data card from this tree view and in the visible property of this data card instead of statically saying it true we can set the condition here like variable tab is equals to one then and then it will be displayed okay so let me just copy this and what we can do is we want to show it for the category and price as well so we can press ctrl p to select multiple cards and from here we can set its visible property to this well okay let me check it one more time so it is one here for this okay i have it wrong in here same for here okay and same thing i want to do for this image and overview and image card and in here what i want to do is i want to set its visible property is equals to 2 so when the value is 2 selected tab is equals to 2 those will be displayed actually this one as well so let me just go and set its value as 2 in here as well and when the attachment is there we want to set its value to visible on the if the selected tab is equals to 3 let me just go and try to run this right now the value has been not set so it's not displayed if i click on info it will see so these three properties if i go in info image image info tab it will show these three four items and if i go in attachment it will show these items okay the next thing what i wanted to do is right now there is no visual clue which tab is selected and what is the tab the user is on so for that what we are going to do is we are going to set its uh, uh, color property basically so to do that what we are going to do is in its fill property it is having this value we are going to set it to with some condition for like if variable selected tab is equal to one okay then we want to show this color which is the by default theme color otherwise we want to say show it as gray 
okay and we are going to copy this for all of these uh, these three buttons right so it will work and the other most important thing which we want me to do is whenever the form has been loaded we want to set uh, the selected tape value as one so by default, whenever user is loaded or opening our page in the new mode, edit mode or view mode, they always see the first tab selected. To do that, what we are going to do is I can go into the SharePoint integration. I'm using the SharePoint form as the data source. That's why I have the SharePoint integration in here. In the SharePoint integration, I need to go into this advanced tab. And here I have three actions for whenever there is a new form, edit uh, user is in edit mode new mode or view mode so according to that these three forms are opening like new form edit form and view mode view form actually so whenever user is accessing any of the three forms i want to land him onto the info tab so what i can do is i can just click on him here and set that variable set variable selected tab equal to one so not this one tab comma one so that when a new form is clicked before moving to that this variable is set same i will apply in here for edit form and that same thing will i will apply in here view form as well okay and okay so let me save the app and now if i run the app as you can see the values has been changed I think I have mistakenly added that thing just a moment okay so I think I have mistaken one thing so yeah instead of having this value selected tab equal to one I have to make it this item dot ID okay so now if I run the app when user is in info you will see this in image info you will see these tabs in attachment you will see these tabs okay so let me just go and save it one more time yep mm, okay okay so now let me just go and try to uh, publish okay i have already published the page or the app in the save point so let me just try to refresh it one more time and when i click on this new yeah it will have this new layout which i have just created okay if i try to edit any of the items as you can see the value has been there right if i can try to attach any value i can try to attach any of the values in here that's okay i'm just showing that and if I try to view any item, it is also working fine, right? And uh, let me try to edit any values. Let's say one, two, three in here. Carpet is two. Value is eight point nine five, one nine five, and save. As you can see, the value has been updated. So yeah, so that is it. I hope you enjoy the video and uh, understand how these how we can change the tab formula values on the the actual out of the box uh, sharepoint list forms to convert it to the tabbed forms and please let me know uh, what you think about the video and like share and comment the video and please subscribe my channel if you haven't done it yet